Good morning, I'm Adam Harris and this is the day ahead. Don't forget to click subscribe below to receive daily market analysis videos and important alerts. On the economic calendar for today, we have the UK's Governor Connie speaking at 10 a.m. In the currencies, we see signs of a weaker US dollar index continuing. In the commodities, gold looks keen to attempt another run up to 1350. In the global indices, a strong finish to the previous week indicates more upside potential today. And in the equities and focus, there's fresh divides between US and other equities. You can jump to any chapter by clicking on the time link in the description below. Let's kick off with currencies and starting off with that US dollar index uh, still within this range. Uh, it's been obviously been there for quite a while. 97 down to 96. It's pulled back into 96.50 towards the end of last week and uh, now already starting to look more bearish, heading a little bit lower. And uh, so all of that just being it's been largely um, unpredictable in terms of that because it's stuck within this range. So much sort of shorter time uh, time scale views it now looks as though it's very much uh, intending to weaken today which then if we have a look at say euro dollar but especially cable showing them actually strengthening against the US dollar so let's just go ahead and have a look at the euro dollar and here you can just see it's uh, although it came back found some resistance last week right at the end of last week against 1.14 it started to head lower it's now turned around and it's sort of heading back up to test that 1.14 level We've also got cable. Cable having pulled back produced a bullish candle towards the end of the week and is now starting to print a bullish candle. Of course, Brexit on the horizon, so we'll see how that ultimately turns up. But for the moment, seeing a potentially stronger uh, GBP and also here with dollar yen, seeing it actually starting to head a little bit lower, so finding some strong resistance there at 110.90. Then having a look at the Aussie Kiwi, so I just did a scan through all the currencies. There's really not too much happening at the moment. Uh, Aussie Kiwi here finding some strong resistance after breaking through that level of support and potentially heading lower, but also sitting at a level of support at 1.04. So ultimately, I do expect that to hit a little bit lower, but let's see how it plays out for the rest of today. CAD Yen, uh, having broken through its level of resistance and trickling up, also producing a bit of a swing high, potentially pulling back down into those moving averages. And that's, in, uh, that's it in terms of currencies for today. In the commodities on the move, that weaker US dollar will potentially then support stronger commodities. So gold actually having pulled back into the moving averages, as we discussed on Friday, pulled back into that level, the previous high, um, which is also support resistance and already now starting to head a little bit higher. So my expectation is it's going to attempt, there's definitely bearish divergence, so I do expect a deeper pullback, but I think it wants to attempt one more go at least at getting to 1350, potentially up to 1360. And so expecting that to uh, climb this week or attempt to climb up, silver being the same, pull back into the previous level and produce that bullish candle and starting to head on higher so the momentum is to the upside but there is that divergence so you can see palladium already continuing up to test its next level so hardly a pullback on that still very very bullish there the crude oils same thing my expectations see the crude oils and uh, brent and oils in general uh, trending upwards continuing to trickle upwards entry opportunities tending to be more on that four hour time frame and so here's look here it's uh, us brent oil and uh, this also continuing to trickle upwards into its next level which is 1950 so any kind of pullbacks into the previous levels will be entry opportunities for me bit of a bearish candle printing today so i might get that entry opportunity in the coming days uh, but otherwise expected to head up and hit that level first and then just recapping on uh, Brent. So uh, Brent having actually encountered resistance at the 4,000 level and gap down. So it's had a little bit of a, a sort of a, a knockdown uh, over the weekend and uh, now heading, trading a little bit lower. Ethereum itself as well also uh, trading a little bit lower there. So again, cryptocurrency is continuing to not really show much growth at the moment. Almost a little bit of a flat line in terms of just operating within a range close to the bottom of its historical lows. I should say their historical lows. Next, on to the global indices and having a look at Wall Street first. Pretty much finished quite strong on the tail end of last week. This was a, a consideration, certainly. We're heading up towards the next highs, the levels of resistance. That's with the uh, Dow. With the S&P 500, same thing again. Also a nice bullish candle, pushing a little bit high, a little bit of a gap up, a nice little move down to close the gap, and then a continuation this week would actually make nice technical sense. You can see here as well the US Tech 100 pull back into that previous high bullish candle and heading on to the next level of resistance very very quickly then on to the uk so the FTSE 100 producing a little bit of a green candle bit of a rejection underneath the last level of support resistance but already above it with a bullish candle potentially setting up for this morning when the market opens 
looking at the German DAX that uh, continue to break to its level of resistance. This is quite significant. This is now in a weekly uptrend as well. It's so looking very bullish there and uh, finishing quite strong for the week. So again, we've still got bulls nice and present. And uh, Hang Seng, the session already, the current session already nice and bullish, heading up to its level of resistance towards 29,000. Quite significant, but again, that's an, another sort of bullish clue there as well. If that Asian session in play, as well as Australia 200, are all already already uh, heading a little bit higher throughout today. So all of that just leaning, uh, just implying a uh, that the bulls are still very much present, and uh, expectation would be aside from any small retracements, the markets are certainly going to attempt to climb, and a weaker US dollar is going to help with that as well. And uh, then just having a look at the selected equities in focus, looking at, say, Apple, for example, uh, starting with some of the US ones that are looking quite bullish, heading up a little bit higher, finishing strong on the end of last week. All of that leaning towards uh, a more bullish outcome throughout uh, today as well. Netflix uh, sort of very casually breaking through this level of resistance, but not really taking off from there. Microsoft itself doing quite well, finding a nice little breakout uh, on the tail end of last week and also continuing um, to head a little bit higher from that point on. Boston Scientific having pulled back into the moving averages. A couple of bullish candles in a row there, actually a couple of different entries and taken on to producing those new highs. Okay, so all of that making sense, all of that looking relatively bullish. But then when I get on to the ones that are usually on my downtrend, and so recently I've been discussing how they've actually been bullish um, and supporting the overall bullish tone. Interesting enough now, taking last week into account, uh, some of them have shifted to bearish again. This is something that we haven't really had since 2018, and uh, it does make me a little bit more uh, cautious on some of my trades, but uh, EasyJet still stuck within its range. Uh, Barclays, actually, although it gets higher, rejected it, now heading back down to the lows of support, so not following through on that bullish tone. Standard Chartered, <coughs> excuse me, finding some res rejection of the recent resistance levels and heading lower as well. Not very aggressively, but certainly not following through on that bullishness. Lloyd's having broken out of its range to the upside and pull back, now producing that little bit of a bullish candle. So I need to see these trends continue. What I'm looking for over this week is to see these ones on my list. EasyJet, Barclays Standard, Chartered, Lloyd's Banking and BP actually starting to uh, head higher and ideally finishing with a nice bullish candle throughout this week to support the general bullish uh, tones throughout the rest of the charts. If uh, I fail to get that, then I'm going to become more cautious in my overall trading because then the conditions are going to feel a little bit and look a little bit like uh, some of those in 2018. So on that note, ladies and gents, I want to wish you a wonderful week. And if it's trending, I'll be there. Just a reminder to hit the subscribe button. If you want to stay abreast of what's happening in the market, I'll be producing and bringing you the latest in the markets every morning in a freshly produced video.